Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Xiaoyi security camera. It's produced by Xiaomi, the rising Chinese manufacturer that is known for producing low-cost but high-grade smartphones. And now this is their answer to the Dropcam and also the Piper NV. Now the Xiaoyi's price of $35 is absolutely mind-blowing. In fact, it's the least expensive security camera that's Wi-Fi compatible we've ever seen. And if Xiaomi is successful, then it proves that security cameras don't have to be super expensive to offer excellent performance. And just for the sake of comparison, a Piper NV will retail for about $280, a drop cam for about $150 versus this. $35. So taking a look at the packaging, it's a pretty clean presentation as we expect from Xiaomi. You can find this online. There's a link in the description box below. On the back, there's a bit more information. Uh, first of all, this is a 720p HD resolution camera with an 111 degree lens with an f2.0 aperture. Uh, there is a version for night vision that costs about 10 bucks more and we have the non-night vision version uh, for daylight usage in the office or maybe in the house. It connects using Wi-Fi. It can use it with iOS or Android using a free application and powers 5 volt 1 amp using a micro USB cable that's included. There's also an SD card slot or a micro SD card slot for you to record video uh, without cloud storage, which is pretty convenient. Um, and otherwise, so we have a very clean and elegant look. There are no battery compartments on this product. So if someone disconnects the Xiaoyi from the wall, unfortunately, you cannot no longer see what's happening inside of your house. Now, as you might notice from the packaging here, uh, it's all in Chinese, and that's because the Xiaomi camera can only be purchased in stores in China, but you can purchase this internationally through Xiaomi's website or again in the link in the description. However, the packaging will still be in Chinese which means that for setup, it's gonna be a bit more frustrating than some competitors we've seen. However, at only 35 bucks, again, is a sacrifice that you have to consider. Taking a look here, we have the Xiaoyu camera right on top, pretty elegantly presented. Uh, it's flexible, I can change the mounting posture. And over here, I have access to the AC adapter, which is just a standard USB-based one. And in the box, there's also access to a micro USB cable for charging. It's an extremely long cable, so you can set this up on a table and then the cable can be connected to the wall and everything will be fine. And and there's also the user manual, which is very important. Again, it's completely in Chinese, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna basically give you the synopsis here. This part is the QR code that you have to scan using your phone to download the application that connects you into the Xiaoyu camera. You have to download this. This particular QR code, for some reason, no longer works. This is the one that you wanna download and install. It takes about two minutes or so, and then you will be configured and ready to go. So afterwards, it shows you through some several images that are pretty easy to understand. Connect the Xiaoyu to the wall, Download the application, follow the on-screen we'll prompt. The design of the it. Xiaomi Xiaoyi camera next, you can see that it's very simple, it's slim and elegant, and in many ways it reminds us of the drop cam, which is a good thing because it's lightweight and easily disguises into any background. You can also mount it again onto the wall for a permanent setup, but at the same time, again, this is a lot smaller than something like Piper NV or Godzilla, even though it offers less sensors. So if you're looking for something that's lightweight and easy to carry around, this is a good option to consider. Taking a closer look, it's crafted out of a polycarbonate material, which feels pretty sturdy on the the back there's access to a rubber feet which prevents the unit from sliding around on a desk and we now have the power cord attached which is again pretty long in length and there's also a QR code in the back on the side there is an SD card slot which you need to place in if you want to record video because there is no cloud video recording uh, but at least you have that functionality and you can insert up to a 64 gigabyte card on the other side you have access to a basic reset pen and on the front just the camera itself and also the LED indicator blue means that it's currently being connected to Wi-Fi and running and working whereas if it's yellow it means that you still need to connect it to your Wi-Fi network the first time that you powered it on. There's also a speaker along the sides, which is extremely loud, although it's a little bit muffled in tone, and that will prompt you through the setup, but unfortunately the process is in Mandarin Chinese, so for international buyers, it can be a little bit frustrating and difficult. There's a pivot hinge on the bottom there, which allows you to rotate and change the orientation of the video pretty easily, so you can adjust that and set things up. During operation, the camera gets a little bit hot over time, but it's about the same as Piper NV does, um, so a little bit of heat can be noticed. Taking a look at the application, it's pretty simple to set things up, but again, if you are a non-Chinese speaker, there are no English instructions, so that can be frustrating. So the first time that we tried installing and setting things up, it took about 30 minutes as opposed to 5 minutes on the Piper and V. That's because the instructions included in the box were also, again, in Chinese. But anyways, we got things up and running. This is the Mi application that you can tap on. You can connect all these smart appliances that Mi is selling. Right now, we have the Xiaomi Xiaoyi camera there. I can also connect multiple pairs. There are two versions of this camera, again, one for the night vision, one for the normal version that we have here. The normal vision does not have the infrared lights built in, whereas the night vision does. So I would recommend that one if you want to uh, put, put that up in a darker environment. So tapping on that camera will start the application and the streaming process. 
and again the camera has 111 degrees in terms of the point of view which is relatively wide and what was really impressive for something that retails for only $35 is the video quality. It's extremely crisp and also very very clear so you can see how the response time for the camera even though there's a slight delay is pretty good and definitely comparable to Piper NV. 720p not as high resolution as 1080p but the difference here is very minor. Color saturation is on point and detail is also on point so you can definitely notice all the patterns um, as they're occurring. So I would say about two second or three second delay uh, it can be expected on here. I can also zoom in and out of subjects by tapping and pinching and also panning around the screen and to record video again you do need to have a micro SD card and then you can kind of pan back and forth between your video. I can also go to a full screen mode there by tapping onto the full screen icon right, from, and then, you can tap on if you want to say something onto the other end. So for example, hello this is a test. So you can see that the microphone on the uh, Xiaomi and also the speaker on the Xiaomi is going to prompt whatever you're going to say. So there is a two-way communication feature that's on board. Now the microphone on the Xiaomi itself is pretty strong if you're listening to whatever is happening and hearing it back through your phone. Uh, the process is decent um, and you can definitely hear what people are saying and you can also see what pets are uh, doing inside of your house. Uh, whenever you have the lights turned off, the actual Xiaomi daylight version of the camera will turn to a black and white mode. And if there's a little bit of light in the background, you can still differentiate what's happening inside of your house which is good and overall again we were generally pleased with the performance for something that's so inexpensive other things that you can program through the settings include the ability for motion detection so just like the Piper NV if a motion has been detected uh, it will give you a notification on your phone or on your tablet and say someone is in your house you should probably check that and the accuracy of the notifications is good it's a little bit stronger than Guardzilla which sometimes had a bit of a delay and issues but this one is actually very good in terms of the software on the top you also have icons to share the content. So if you record something, you can share it with friends and family. Tapping on here gives you more settings to rename your camera and to go through the other uh, programs um, and security settings in terms of your password and, and so on and so forth. Before you can use this product, when you first install the uh, application, you also need to set up a Xiaomi account. This is not an issue if you already have a Xiaomi smartphone, but for other uh, users, for example, of Samsung or LG phones, uh, this is also in Chinese, so you need to have a little bit of patience when setting things up. Xiaomi Xiaomi camera is imperfect. For non-Chinese speakers, Speakers, the setup process can be a bit confusing and also the product emits more complex sensors for temperature, for humidity and other things like that that can be found on competitors. However, the quality of the video is outstanding and for only $35 it presents an excellent value. In fact, this is why we're awarding this our Editor's Choice Award for the month of June. To check out more information, be sure to read our full written review, but this has been the Xiaomi Xiaoyi camera.